Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people color their hair with Sharpies. I've done that before and it actually did work. I know, probably just as shocked as I was when I did it. I don't know if this is terrible for your hair or not. And that makes me nervous. Regular or something permanent hair color is probably better for your hair. That's just me. But for all the DIY things you can do to your hair with at-home supplies in the realm of hair color, I think using Sharpies is like one of the best things because it actually works. But let's see if it works for these people today. Let's see what they do with their hair color with some Sharpies. And let me judge the shit out of it. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by, yep, it is still Tori. Um, and this is called Dying My Hair Black with Sharpies Hair Hacks. Let's check it out. Today, I'm going to be doing something very, very stupid. Don't do this, kids. If somebody said that they were thinking about dyeing their hair with Sharpies. This sounded like a great idea. So I am going to be doing that today. Got some Sharpies and some hair conditioner. I don't even know how to really open the Sharpies. We're doing black Sharpies. That sounds intense. I feel like it's just never gonna come out of her hair ever she's just always gonna be stuck with black hair black why are we doing black you look beautiful with this bright colored hair <laughs> I'm scared. Step one is to fill your hair dye bulb with enough conditioner to cover half your head or your full head if that's what you're doing. But I'm only going to be doing half my head today because if this fails, I wanna at least be able to have half my hair. That is my thought process. So your thought process is to do half of your head black because then you'll still have half your hair. You need two halves to make a whole. Like what are you gonna do? Like just shave one side of your head? I mean, I guess if that's what you're into, but like. I'm not getting a visual of what you're talking about or like what you're trying to say. Um, it would be unfortunate actually if one half of your head was a really awful ugly color and the other half was cute. I feel like it would make the whole thing look ugly. You know what I mean? It, that's just me. Just my opinion. Now we have to figure out how to open these. We're just break it. I'm getting PTSD. Mm, ah. This is the hardest part of this whole process. Getting these mother markers open is a it's hard to do, it hurts your hands, it hurts everything in my life, and I don't ever wanna do it again. Ah. Ah. I don't know where that went. So I went ahead and mixed just one Sharpie in there, and it looks like it made this really cool, like light purple color. Pretty, I can't wait for that to be on your hair. So this is the second Sharpie added to it. I ended up going ahead and splitting my hair in half, so I'm gonna dye this half with the Sharpie, and I'm gonna leave this half orange. So it ended up being kind of a really, really dark blue. I did end up adding like a lot of Sharpie to it, just to try to make it as black as I could. However, it kind of just stayed as a dark blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer to the hair god, and then just start putting this on my head. Hair gods, please help her. Please let my hair be on my head when I wash this out. Please let it be a dark blue. Black, hopefully, fingers crossed. I guess. Oh, she's going for it already. She's just putting that right on there. Oh, it just seems like a bad idea. Like just all around, just scary. Uh, it's definitely black, it's dark, and it's horrifying. I don't know if this is going to be like horrible for anybody's hair or make their hair fall out. Like I'm pretty sure that's highly, 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 highly unlikely or pretty impossible because it is just ink mixed with conditioner. You know, I don't think it's gonna make your hair fall off. Like, you know, I just think that seems very unlikely unless there was some kind of crazy chemical reaction going on. I don't think it's going to turn out a solid black. I think it's probably gonna be more like a dark blue. But this color is interesting, that's for sure. Definitely bluish, blackish. And there's no sectioning going on. We're just putting that stuff all over the head. <laughs> just how I like it, you know guys, you know me. I just love it like that. I love when people don't take their time and I love when they just put it right on there. Oh no. So I think now I'm, it's finally hitting me that my hair it's actually going to be black for a good long while. Ah, no, I feel bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in my hair for roughly half an hour and then wash it out. So comment down below, what color do you think it's gonna turn out? I predict a darker blue, 100 percent So I just got out of the shower. Show us. This is what my hair looks like. Holy. Being more of a blue than a black, but I really like it. When I used to dye my hair black when I was younger, I dyed it more of a blue black, which is kind of like what it is now. I really like it. I am going to go ahead and re-dye it black black just because I feel like it looks a little weird to have like dark blue hair and then orange. But 
I really like it. She hates it. She hates it. I mean, girl, I've been there. It actually doesn't look that bad though. Um, I do wish her entire head was black or this blue black thing going on. I don't love the two colors mixed together, like the orange on one side and the blue on the other. Not really my vibe, not really my style, not really like loving it, but I think the whole thing like a blue black would look pretty. However, it's just not gonna come out for like a long time. So that's the only thing I would say is like, be cautious. You're gonna have to stick with this for a very long time. I don't know how long Sharpie hair color lasts for, but it seems like it would last for forever and ever and ever. Because if I know one thing about Sharpies, that does not come up anything. Well, Tori, thank you for that. That was scary. And I feel really bad for your hair, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Sebastian Bales, and this is called Dying My Hair with Sharpies Permanent Markers. Blah, 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 blah. Today, we are gonna be dyeing my hair with Sharpie. What the hell? What in the f was that? By the looks of this week's thumbnail, you guys can see that there is going to be a lot of regrets and mistakes and terrible decisions. Why is he screaming at me? What did I do? You're scaring me. I don't need this today. I don't need the screaming. First things first, product. Definitely Sharpie. 40 volume developer, bowls, cups, a dirty hairbrush from last time I dyed my hair. Last but not least, scissors. These are the shades that I chose to dye my hair. Wait a second. Why are we doing 40 volume developer? What is that? Your friend Mackenzie Murray did not use 40 volume developer. 40 volume developer for what? For who? For when? For why? It just needs to be mixed with conditioner, not developer. That's concerning. And now we're using every different blue color of Sharpie in the pack, which is going to result in, you know, maybe just a nice shade of light blue. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That maybe will be okay for him. I'm into it. I could do that. Will I die from this? I hope not. Okay, I'm so scared. Okay, here we go. Oh my God! <laughs> my, my lips are numb. Don't do this at home. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. God, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just dip one side in and then you blow on the side you just dipped in. He definitely did the wrong side and got it all over his mouth. Ah, that's really scary. No thanks. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Okay, well, I really don't know what I'm doing here. We're just gonna add, oh wow, that's a lot of ink. We are now mixing everything together. I legit added all the developer that I had left and now we have like this glue type consistency. I don't know what this is. Again, this is the first time I'm dyeing my hair color. I've never dyed my hair color, I've only done blonde. One thing I do know is damage happens, especially when bleach your hair, so I have this Olaplex. I don't know if you should add it, but I'm not trying to, yeah. Not only did he use 40 volume, which is going to damage the shit out of his hair for no reason, you're supposed to just use conditioner, but then he added Olaplex step three, I believe, which is not supposed to be added to things like this. You're supposed to use a different kind of Olaplex for things like this. This is just not it. This is the hair color that we got. Where do I even start? I can't even take myself seriously considering the fact that it stained my lips. Let's just say yellow and let's just go straight in. You're really going for it. You can wash it off, rinse it off, go back. Do not do this. Oh my God, this is gonna be so patchy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm just gonna rub it in like shampoo. I just wanna make sure it's like really in there, like everywhere. I don't even know how long to leave this in. It's, it's burning, oh my God, it literally is burning right now. Every time I touch my hair, oh my God. This seems highly, highly unlikely that this is really what happened. It literally is this. This is in my hair. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. My hair is green. I don't mean to laugh. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do, guys. I hate this. My hair is just so dry now. I literally look like a carrot. I think you're gonna be okay. And I don't see any breakage. Therefore, I really don't think your hair actually fell out. Someone please explain to me how this color turns into this. I don't get it. I can explain it to you. Your hair was yellow before, especially your roots, and you put a light blue over it, which turned it green, because yellow and blue make green. That's what the happened to your hair. And I'm so sorry, it does look quite crazy. Super dry, like my hair is legit. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is like super thin right here compared to this side. I literally hate this color. This has to be the most dramatic thing I've ever seen in my entire existence alive on this planet of Earth. The green is really not the worst thing in the entire world. Yeah, I actually don't mind it now that I'm seeing it. It's actually not that bad, but I don't think his hair fell out. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. And I think it's gonna be okay. It's just hair. You know, shave your head if you need to. Woo, okay. Work. Okay, Sebastian. Up next, we have a video by Torishu Chan. And this is called Dying My Hair with Sharpie. <gasps> Kiss my ass. 
my age because I'm finally famous. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with Sharpies. For some unknown reason, people are blowing out marker ink and mixing it with a bunch of stuff before putting it on their head instead of just buying something designed for your hair. She seems skeptical, which makes sense. And she seems like this is a stupid idea. Why don't I just buy color? that does the same thing, but it does it the right way. And I agree with you, girl. One for blue and one for pink. Even though it's purple, it's the closest color of cup I have to pink, so that's the color. Blue first. I am now kneeling. And we're doing it. We're cutting the Sharpie, we're getting the ink out. You can do it, girl. We believe in you. Maybe not, but some people might believe in you. Oh yeah, bend it. Bending it helps a lot. She's genius, using plier things to rip the thing off the top. Why don't I think of that? I was over there cutting those things. It's scary when you cut them. This is such a better idea. That's a really good amount of color right there. And it's a really good amount of color in my mouth. People say mix white hair dye with the color, but white hair dye isn't a thing. It's just kind of a base color. Sort of like this. This will keep my hair from getting dry. She's using suave conditioner, mixing it with the color. That seems like a better technique than 40 volume. Okay, that looks like a pretty blue though. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna start putting it on now. So I'm gonna start with the pink side and I'm using my hands. Okay, we're just going for it like everybody else. Um, no sectioning and we're just putting it right on there. It doesn't seem to be like dark enough. I don't know if that's really gonna show up. It looks like a very light pastel pink, but it could be really cute. I never really have too neat of an application. I kind of always just throw the um, color onto my hair. I can see that. You definitely just threw it on there, girl. It does look like it's covering very nicely. I will say that much. And it seems to be working so far. Oh, wow. That is dark. That's a dark blue. This feels like it's going to work, actually. I'm kind of excited about the outcome of this. I don't know if that's the chemicals or how rough I was with my hair, but that doesn't usually happen when I dye my hair. Well, maybe the last guy wasn't lying. <laughs> Why is her hair falling out? It could be a reaction, I don't know, but it probably just cause she's raking her hand through her hair with conditioner and she probably hasn't washed her hair recently. So it's probably just naturally coming out. Tie dye is great cause like no matter what you stain it with, it still looks normal cause it's tie dye. It's a bunch of stains. I'll be back in one hour to show you the results. Okay. All right guys, so I just got out of the shower to try and get all the ink off my body. My no, it actually worked? What? The blue turned out way darker than I thought it was gonna turn out. Wait, why does it actually look pretty good? The side is actually a really hot pink. It's a little orangish at the roots, like it didn't take entirely, but it's just a really nice pink, I think. I'm just shocked it even worked. She's like picking apart each little detail about it. I'm like, it somehow actually worked in a way and I'm really confused. Wow. Are you kidding? I like it, it worked. This pink is pretty bright in person. Like the blue came out a lot darker than I thought it would. Not dark, like that dark, but it is darker than I prefer. Okay, girl, you did this with Sharpies. Let's give it some credit. This looks dope. It's definitely not perfect, but this looks so good on you. Oh my God, I love this color combo. Your hair is so pretty. This looks really, really gorgeous. And I'm just happy it somehow sort of worked. Kind of impressed. Kind of like, wow, Sharpies work. I guess. Well, it's been confirmed. You can color your hair with Sharpies and you can actually get some pretty decent color with them. As opposed to like Kool-Aid, which is like annoying and like too much work. Sharpies actually work. <laughs> like if you're 16 and you're wanting to go behind your parents' back and do something to your hair, you didn't get the information here, but Sharpies do work. I do not condone that. Don't do that. Make sure you guys subscribe out down below if you haven't already. Hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Go for it. Here's my phone number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure to check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair on Instagram and linked below if you want to shop. And X Mono Color, my color line. If you want to check us out on Instagram, it's X Mono Color. If you want hair and spro, go to the Instagram. If you want to buy, go to the website. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. Here it all is. It's so
Kim. If you like to shop, you can also shop it right down below with the link. Go for it. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Katie. She says, I'm 19 and ready for a huge change in my hair. I have naturally brown hair, but I have highlights. I want a big change instead of getting the same color over and over. What should I do? She said, I want a big change. Go platinum. Your skin would look beautiful with platinum, gorgeous blonde hair. And I would cut it maybe just like a couple inches trim. Nothing too much. I'm loving a good side fringe curtain bang moment. So definitely try that too. Give it a shot. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.